Hello everyone and welcome back to yet another episode and it's Let's Play of Suikoden 2. Uh, as you might notice, the sound is a bit different and it has a very very good reason and the reason is that we are now playing this episode on a computer again because I messed up yet another recording. Yeah, my fault. Uh, the thing is, I recorded this episode earlier of course, but what happened was that I put the microphone as, uh, you know, the computer's built-in microphone and not my headsets. So I was sitting on the other side of the room talking to myself, uh, <laughs> and what was recorded was just sometimes you could hear, hear me like, <laughs> and that's it. So I just downloaded a file from off or somewhere online. As you might notice, this Ryu is one level higher than me. Uh, we have a bit of a different equipment. I have a fire rune here, for an example. Don't want that at all. Uh, so we're just going to have to progress with the storyline to the same point. Um, this is the second episode that this happens in, in this Let's Play, which is really annoying. But there's not, nothing we can really do about it. So I'm sorry. I should learn to make multiple saves, actually. That's a good thing. But we're just going to continue on uh, and hope that this will be a kick-ass little piece of Let's Play-ish thingy. Okay, whatever. Okay, everyone's here. Well, Mr. Strategist, have you come up with a plan? Apple, explain the situation. The Highland Army has left the south window and is headed for our castle. It looks like a frontal assault like before. He's a one-trick pony. We'll leave half of our army behind. Lord Ryu will lead this as our main unit. The other half will be divided into four units led by Victor, Flake, Zai, and Kandos. They'll line up on the right and left sides. When Kiba is right between them, they'll fan out and surround him. If Kiba ignores the ambush and thrusts its way in, will we be able to stop him with our smaller numbers? Kiba and his son won't be able to defeat my plan. Uh, you're pretty confident. You never miscalculated before? The explanation is finished. Lord Ryu, if all is ready, please give the signal to deploy. Uh, I just remember, though, that we need kindly to check in how did this person... Oh, good lord, no. Okay, that's actually not that bad. <laughs> that's actually kind of a good idea. I'm sorry, I should make fun of you. Let's see here. Okay, we have Yanku in reserve. I don't like that. That means we have at least one crappy guy here. I understand your reasoning behind it, but I would prefer to have uh, Hannah here. Right, don't I? Where's Hannah? You haven't recruited Hannah? Yeah, you have. Oh, uh, Nami and Shin, why? I strongly disagree with this guy's way of thinking. This is fine. Gilbert, Kaplan, Kamus? No, we're gonna build him up even stronger. 10 11 on Gilbert, that's fine. Flick, Kuan needs to go to Teresa. You. Flick already has cavalry, you idiot! You don't need to- Oh, that drives me insane sometimes. Um... Nine, nine? Uh, we usually have Sai in here, don't we? Where is Sai? This is so confusing. I think... Okay, there's somebody here that I normally don't use. It's probably Shin. Because that's normally... I have Jean in that party. Yeah, this is how I put up Teresa usually. And Luke has... There you go, probably. Th this looks more correct to me, and I think this is a good use of everyone's talents. Um, only good groups, basically, which is nice. I think maybe exchange McLoto with Kano so I have an 8 to 10. I just prefer having, having more defense for some reason. Especially uh, with the heavy armor, maybe not. No, I'm gonna revert back to McLoto. Okay. This will be good enough. Shoo! Let's go to battle, my good sir. Lord Ryu. Let's go! That's such a useless little comment there from Sai. He's just... Oh, everything is okay. Let's go. Okay. Lords Victor, Flick, Sai, and Kamus have prefer finished their preparations. Lord Ryu, try to lure General Kiba in without moving. Screw that! We're gonna move! Ah, oh, this Ryu is a brave young man indeed. Twice he has dared to face us. He is truly the son of Genkaku. Without Ridley, it seems they have little chance, but uh, what do you think, Klaus? They will probably set an ambush. One unit on the right and one on the left. We'll attack once we're close enough. 
Should we also split our forces and trap them in a pincer attack? The enemy strategist, strategist Shu despises us. He probably thinks you haven't noticed this ambush. That's our best chance. I hear the music is lagging in the background. That's great. Even when the ambush is sprung, tell our men to pay no attention and continue to drive forward. Defeat for you, and we win. Your strategy is sound. Give the order to strike like the wind. Uh, okay, remember, uh, we'll just watch for a bit. If you mess this up, it might hurt my career too. So, uh, like in the last battle, the fourth company up there, led by Raud, he really won't be doing anything. They will just be standing still for the entire match, no matter how badly it goes for Kiba and company. Uh, and we've already seen Raud's defeat speech. There's no point in pursuing them anymore than we have to. I think you're supposed to stand still here in this battle, but I prefer to just move forward as far as I can <laughs> so I can actually engage the enemy, because normally, you know, the, the way I u normally put up uh, Ryu is with Nanami and Shu, which means that he doesn't really have any means of transportation to get him quickly, quickly into battle. But now we kind of do, so we're going to use that and get him in as far into battle as possible. That's at least my plan. La -dee -da -da -da. Of course, Kiba is a very difficult character to battle here. He has 7 attack, which is less than the normal Highland armies, as you might see. It's the same as the archer groups in the Highland army, but he has 16 in defense, and that is so insanely high, you have no idea. It is really, really quite a lot, so we're gonna be have to be careful because you know he can just and he has the heavy armor uh, ability as well, which makes him even more invincible, a lot invincible. But uh, you know he's heavily protected guy. He he is quite dangerous. Let's try to attack him here. Actually, ooh, critical hit even. Well, that's a good start. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> Boom. Okay, give the signal. Shoo, isn't it still too early? It's fine. Give the signal! <laughs> Look at him for a second, like, way behind us. Okay, everyone attack! By my sword, Uria will slice through the enemy. I have no idea what Uria is. Sounds religious, actually. So it was an ambush after all. All forces advance, give for the main unit. He suddenly got an accent. Whoops. Weird accent, too. Give me your best shot there, keep um uh, Whoops. Uh, how did that happen? We have like 12 in defense or something. 11 or 12. That's unfair. Cheater. Where is Teresa? Oh, Teresa's right here nearby, so we're just gonna heal up like this. And we're gonna give it all we got. Uh, the main objective here is to either damage... Oops, that was the wrong person. I was gonna... Okay, good. Wait, we actually damaged him! Ha! <laughs> That's lucky! Uh, wow, that was totally unexpected, actually. Uh, good for Ryu. Really, really, oops, sorry. I forgot about that sound in the background there. Whatever, you probably can't hear it well anyway. Okay, this is going pretty well so far. We're gonna try a normal attack versus uh, Kiba. Like, Luke is the only one here that has any chance of getting close to matching Kiba's defense in his attack. So, yeah. But we're gonna have to be a bit careful here now. I totally forgot about... Um, I didn't forget, but we would be kind of unlucky having Ryu take damage from... Okay, good. That was Ryu. Haha! <laughs> no, it wasn't. But uh, having Ryu take damage from Kiba was totally unexpected and not cool at all. Uh, I was talking about the uh, objective for winning this, is that you have to take out Kiba or let the battle go long enough. And you can't defeat Kiba until a certain thing has happened <laughs> here. The enemy isn't panicking. We can't defend against them. Hmm. The enemy is shaken. Now's our chance. Follow me. Damn. Just as I thought. At this rate, Ryo will. Rio will strike the enemy where it... Ooh, damn, this is gonna be hard. Or harsh. I'm doing those magicians where a nice touch. I, I like that. So thank you, Ryu. Shu is a critical beast today. Um, 
X-ray wind magic. Okay. Okay. We're gonna put uh, Flick right into the fire. Oh, no, not to prepare yourself. Minius Fire Spare on Kiba. There you go. Oh, yeah. One more dagger in Kiba. That's actually really promising. Uh, come on, Teresa. Show us what green is made of. Apparently nothing. Coward. No. Teresa is always to my support unit, and nothing else. I placed uh, Flick now in the middle of danger, though. That's kind of, that's kind of a bad idea, because he's an archer and everything, but, you know, whatever. Could be worse, I guess. Ooh, look at Flick is doing a good job. He kept that one attack and defeated the other attackers, so... Obviously, he's doing something right here. Yeah, okay. Respectful, um... Respectful, um... Performance. So, like, right now we're doing really well, right? Like, Kiba is struggling, his units are dying slowly but surely, the fourth company isn't even moving. Okay, now crush them! Scatter! Protect Ryu! Ryu is way ahead of you! He's like a child! <laughs> but bada bing bada boom! The time is right! All troops advance! Don't let any Highland soldiers escape! Look close! We're being attacked on our flanks! What did you say? What's this? What's the Two River Army doing? The plan worked. The rest is up to you, Apple. Yes. Why is the rest up to Apple? I don't know. But we got two Cobalt units and Ridley back. <laughs> Yay for sacrificing the Cobalt units that Ridley was defecting to save. No, of course, this has, been, this has been a ploy all along to trick the Highland Army into believing that there is dissension in our ranks. And of course, there isn't. We are a unified bunch of people. So let's just defeat everybody else that's left there now. Have we taken down everything or everyone from Kiba's troops? I think we have. We don't have any fire spears left, so no point in going in hand to hand with him. But uh, we're basically now we're allowed to kill Kiba. He has one more dagger left in him, uh, in him, and considering his high armor value, that's going to be really difficult. But we're just going to give it a shot. So we're just going to have to attack with everyone basically. We have two very solid plans left if these attacks fail. And that's, of course, the wind attack with Luke, and perhaps the most powerful, the lightning attack with Jean. So, let's see here. No! Okay. Uh, in my original episode, or episode, the original recording of this, when I didn't record on my computer, but on my PlayStation 3, uh, lightning attack actually did two damage, two daggers in Kiba. I was so surprised. I had no idea that it could happen, and I'm so pissed that, that I couldn't feel like that's not been that hasn't been recorded properly. I really wish I could, uh, you know, have it in a let's play episode because that was really fascinating. I'd never seen that before in my life, and I played this game like twice every year since this came out. I played this game, and I've never seen that before, so I was shocked. Like, this game still surprises me occasionally. And yes, I realize that uh, people are starting to lose health here now. What I really want to do then is ignore that Kobold army and use a bright shield room to cure everyone else. Yeah, there you go. Come on, try your best, Victor. I love that Kiba's army has only like three people left <laughs> and they're still going strong. Teresa is now officially useless, but she has one bombard ability left, so we're going to use that on the incoming archer group. Good lord, you suck. I wonder, I've always been curious, what if you build up Teresa's attack to the maximum? I think the highest you can get Teresa's attack up to is 11. If you place Shu and another character you get very late in the game in her group, and that would make 11, and it would still suck so bad. Let's see if Wind Magic does it. Yes, it does! I... I'm finished. We're being slaughtered! What the hell is the fourth company doing? But Raud! But Kiba is surrounded! He needs assistance immediately! Uh... Yeah... Just a minute. Uh, haste makes waste, you know? 
When I was a kid, I always used to pronounce that sentence as Haste makes laste, you know? Because I had no idea what those two words meant and I spoke it in, or pronounced it in a Norwegian manner. Here they are! Orders from Lord Luke of Light, King of Highland. You'd be well advised to follow them immediately. Yes. All right, all forces, with full retreat. What? What about Lord Kiba? What did you say? Those orders are from Lord Luca himself. Would you disobey him? No, no. It, it's not that. Matthew's student, eh? It seems he has grown much since then. The fourth company is retreating. How stupid. You! To do this now! Father, forgive me. My strategy has brought us to ruin. At least it was a glorious victory for our allied army. They've lost their will to fight. Offer them terms of surrender. Take Kiba and his son Klaus into custody. Do not hurt them. Oh, I'll hurt them, alright. Especially Klaus and his pretty face. Dum pum 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 pum. Why is nothing happening? Something weird just happened there. I had no idea what it was. It suddenly was like a huge break, and it just kept my breath in silent or held my breath in silence. That's <gasps> everything's okay. And once again, the music is screwed up. It would return to normal in the next episode, and it's only like five or ten minutes left of this episode anyway. So keep with it, okay? You look pleased. You must have won. Pilika is happy. Bolgan also happy. You're okay. You're are you okay? You're not hurt? Your stomach doesn't hurt? It looks like you're okay, which seems to be the word of the day. Okay. Bum. Bum. Enemy generals. This is Kiba, and this is Klaus. Ah, you were good. I was worried up to the end. You haven't earned the right to call me by my name, boy. Kill me and be done with it. General Kiba is a great general, and his son Klaus is also a military genius. But Ryu, I suggest you free them and accept them as our allies. And of course, you can say, cut off their heads, or you can say, General Kiba, join forces with us, we need your strength, we're gonna play the good guys here. I refuse. I owe allegiance to Agaris Blight, King of Highland. To join forces of the enemy is to dirty my good name. General Kiba, we need your strength, join our armor up. I agree with my father. I couldn't think of raising my sword against my homeland of Highland. Bum, 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 bum. We received or received a letter. <laughs> we received a letter from the Highland army. What? Read it. Yes, King Luca sends you this present in honor of your bravery. We look forward to the next battle. Signed, Leon Silverberg. That's all it says. Hmm. Klaus, what do you make of that message? Oh, K King Agaris has been murdered by Prince Luca. What? Klaus, don't be so careless. The engagement of Lady Jillia, the death of Lord Agaris, the changes in the fourth company. That's all I can think about. Luca Blight doesn't want a victory for the kingdom. He wants to take the life of every state citizen. But it's not just the state that has reason to fear. Lucas' ambition could destroy Highland as well. Father? I understand. But Ryu, it is a warrior's shame to change masters, but I'll take that shame. Please let me fight alongside you. Lord Ryu, it seems I was no match for you. My genius alone was not enough to defeat you and your impressive collection of warriors. But from this day forward, I am yours to command. Please use my humble skills as you see best. They inappropriate happy sound. I just lo also love that the music suddenly changed back to like the castle sound when Kiva was like, okay, I understand, whatever, I'll defect to you guys, no problem. whoop de doop But I wonder, is it my fault that Leon Silverberg joined forces with them? Shoo. Bum 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 bum. 
Oh, and we're finally awake again? Oh, there's still no Gengen to, like, tell, uh, tell us, Wake the hell up, or get the hell up! But Ryu, what can I help you with? So there's apparently no meeting today in the Grand Castle place. Oh, there's Humphrey, that's pretty cool. Oh, nothing. Oh, Lord Ryu, this is wonderful! All oh, the thoughts of battle chess is a bear for my mind! I'm really looking forward to seeing the characters that can drink for our orc that will stay here and drink uh, tea. I love them! So, whatever ha or normally when you know when there's like nothing happening around the castle, you go to Taki and talk to her and listen to her what she has to say about what's happening next. So let's do, the, do just that. Let's talk to Taki and hear what she suggests now. What is it? I want to ask your Granny something. What can I do for you, Sonny? Why don't you take a nice stroll around the castle grounds? It'll be good exercise for you. You know what, Taki, my dear old lady woman friend? Let's do just that. I hope we don't encounter any uh, people we we have, or that has been recruited in this save, but that hasn't been recruited in my save. I don't think we will, but, uh, you know, you never, ooh, what was that? But you never know. Uh-oh, something is happening while taking a nice stroll outside town. Damn, where did he go, that jerk go? His legs must be as quick as his hands. Wow. And I don't know if you can recognize them, but that's Sheena from Suicoden 1, the son of LaPont and Eileen. Which, of course, if you've watched my Let's Play of Suicoden 1, you would know that Eileen is one of my favorite characters in that game. LaPont, not so much, but whatever. Yikes, that was close! Until things will blow over, I think I'll go hide out with Victor and the others. And he runs pretty quickly. I guess his legs is as quick or as fast as his, um, as his hands. <laughs> Dirty. I was thinking, though, there's still one minute game that we haven't really played in this game, and we can just play it for fun. Um, while we're still... Uh, we won't get the item, though, because... Oh, look, she's watching Gengen. <laughs> Jumping like this feels good. Okay. Don't want to know what that means. But there is a mini game here. I don't think we've played it yet. Uh, it's a rope climbing game, or basically you... Let's just do... What's the most useful thing here? Well, we don't care because we're not gonna have use for this anyway, since we this is not our game. So we're just gonna play it. Uh, basically, you roll a dice. If you roll one, you go down to where you last place a mark, and you can skip a turn and place a mark that turn to kind of record your progress. And the first one to reach the top wins. I don't remember exactly how many. Let's see. There's five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. About 30 blocks you need to travel up, so like five sixes in a row when you get there, right? Which is of course really difficult. For me, just a general rule of the thumb is like, once you pass one green line, I play some mark. Okay, got a one, then Amukamuku will show up and smash them down to the last mark. So one thing that's like super fun to do is like, oh look, it happened to the computer as well. I think it's because I'm playing on the easiest difficulty right now. But, like, the, the funniest thing for me is if you don't place a mark and you get all the way up top by the red, uh, like, red line there at the end, and you just fall all the way down. It looks like you would just be crushed against the floor, you know, the ground. But, of course, Ryu is an invincible young man of power and true runes and everything like that, so that doesn't really happen. Oh, only at two... Ba -da -da -da, ba -da 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 I love the music, though. You can actually get some nice armors here pretty early if you're willing to waste some money on it. Uh, if you do the 10,000 potch course, there there are a few items there that are actually really, really nice. So, it can be worth it, I think. Especially, like, the ninja suits and stuff. They, they, are, they can come in handy pretty early. So, I do recommend playing it. I've noticed, like, a pattern also in the enemies when playing this mini game, and it's that... Um, it seems like one of them always likes to take risk, and the other one is more safe. So we'll see if that's true. We're gonna take another chance, though. Hopefully we don't get a one. We didn't. Okay, we're gonna play some mark next round. 
Get a one. One. Ooh, damn it. We're still in the lead, though, by quite a lot. None of them are placed on marks yet. That's kind of dangerous. But it's paying off for them. That's kind of annoying. We're going to place a mark, though. One. 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 Apparently the blue one is the one taking the risks right now. Hopefully we'll pass him with a six right now. That's like my fourth two. Come on. I don't need I don't want to. Ah. The blue guy is gonna win now. I don't like that. Let me let me get something else on the two. Let me get a five. A five would be terrific. Yeah. Now if I next turn could get like get a two. Well, sure, I don't want to win anyway. Okay, if I next turn get one, two, three, four, five or six in the next turn, I'll win. Because it's the first one to reach the top, so the re or the red and the blue player has an advantage over the green one, and the red one has an advantage over the blue one. The green has no advantage. advantage. Oh, we won. <laughs> That's be a good workout, too. Climbing up all of those ropes. I could not get anywhere on those ropes, let me tell you. Anyway, first place, and that means that we got a wide urn. Big whoop. Okay, uh, that's been it for this episode. Uh, we defeated Kiba and had him join us. Uh, Luke Oblight is now the king of Highland. Officially. That's not good. Because uh, it means he can intensify his skirmishes with us. And also... Uh, yeah, we saw Sheena enter entered um let's see what Taki has to say now we saw she not wanted to hang out here with victor and flick to get away from a lady friend and that's our next major storyline i personally really love that storyline quite a lot so i'm looking forward to it hey you shouldn't be here everyone is gathered in the great hall okay so it seems like something is up just meeting sheena apparently created some kind of mission so I'll see you in the next episode. I have been a Biting Gamer. Thank you for joining me and hope to see you in the next episode where we will begin one of my favorite story arcs in the game. So see you then. Bye bye.